Hello, this is question three from the Cambridge International set of exams from the winter of 2019 and it's paper 2-2. You can find a link to an image of this question in the description below and I recommend you try the question first before watching the rest of this video. Here's the information they give us. They draw us a graph. Now it's important to notice the graph is not in y and x. It's in natural log y and natural log x. They also tell us this equation here is, is correct. Y is equal to kx to the power of a. And they ask us to find k and a. Now they give us lots of information. They give us this information for natural log y is this number. Natural log x is this number at this point and so on here at this point. And they tell us that this does make a straight line. That's important. We need to know that is a straight line. Now there's two things we need to do in this question. So I can do either first. I think the first thing I would do is I'd play around with this equation. I would try and get natural logs into this. And to do that, I simply get the natural log of both sides, natural log of the left and the natural log of the right. And I, I hope to get something out of it. And um, the left is, is already done here, natural log y. And this, we have two things being multiplied, two terms, um, k and x to the power of a. So when two things are multiplied inside a log, that is the same as uh, the two logs added together, natural log of x to the power of a. And then one last thing we can do, natural log of y is equal, um, I was going to switch these around, but I'll do that next time, I guess. A natural log or any log of something to the power of something, this power, this indice up here, can come down and multiply. So plus a natural log x. This is all just our standard rules from natural log. Now this might not look like much. I'll write it one last time. Natural log y is equal to a natural log x plus natural log k. Now I said this might not look like much, but it... It actually tells me a lot. This looks like a line to me. Now we might be very used to seeing lines like this. Y is equal to MX plus, um, different letters are used here, B maybe. I can't remember what I use now. <laughs> I use whatever letter really I want. And um, so this is what we're used to a line looking like. But, and this doesn't look like it. Y has a natural log and different things. But what this is really saying is whatever is on this axis, we're just very used to using y. But it doesn't have to be y, it's whatever is on this axis. And again, this x here is not, doesn't have to be an x, it is whatever is on this axis. So if we look at down here, instead of an x, we do have what's on that x-axis. Instead of where the y would be, we do have whatever's on that y-axis. So that leaves us that a is equal to the slope and it also leaves us that the natural log of k is equal to the y-intercept. Uh, I don't know how to spell intercept, but there, that'll close enough. And in fact, I'm actually not going to use this bit of knowledge. I'll find, um, I'll find natural log k a different way, I think. Although you could get the equation of a line and find where it hits there. That's, that is another way to do it. Okay, so the slope is actually quite easy. So in that case, we can find A fairly easily. It is just the slope of this equation, and we have two points in it. So if we just solve for the slope, uh, I'll, I'll write M for the slope, if you don't mind. And uh, the slope is equal, pick whichever one we want, uh, 3 minus uh, 3.96 minus 2.43. I'm missing a point there. So that's Y2 minus Y1 really either the y's you want, divided by 0 0.22 minus 1.32. And that is all equal to um, minus 1.39. That's the three, that, three significant figures. But uh, we'll probably want to use a bit more than that for the, for the rest of the question. That's uh, to about five or six. We don't to give them the answer, we just need the first three, but we're going to need to use this number in the rest of the question. All right, well, that's, uh, that's m is equal or a is equal, whichever way you want to put it. And um, so we have one of these letters. In that case, we have nearly everything in here. We know what natural y is because they give us the two numbers for it. We know what natural log x is. They give us two numbers for it. Uh, we know what a is now. So all we have to do is solve k. 
So really it's just a matter of filling out this line here again. Um, you get a choice, whichever one of these you want to pick. Let me just see which one I put in. Um, I used this one, just so my numbers come out nice and easily for me. So you can pick whichever point, and we're just gonna write this line here again. Instead of natural log y, because here's natural log y, here's natural log y, we get 2.43 is equal to, uh, we get this number here, uh, that's a, is equal to, this is minus, apologies, minus 1.390909. And um, natural log x multiplied by natural log x is 1.32. And then plus natural log k. Just rearrange all this. So we have natural log k is equal to, uh, let's see what this would look like. That'd be a plus. So 2.43 plus 1.390909 multiplied by 1.32. Uh, I'm not sure how many decimal places I will need, but because of natural logs involved, it, could, it, will, um, it will change it significantly. But we don't want natural log k. We would like, uh, to, we'll uh, put them both to the power of e. Let's change this equals. Uh, put them both to the power of e. Make sure that's all in one big bracket. And e and natural log cancel each other. So now I just have k equals all of this. So you just need to put all of that in on a calculator. Let me write it up here. Um, k is equal to all of this on a calculator, and that will come out as 71.2. And that's the three decimal, sorry, you're up here. That's the three, decimal, three significant figures. And again, we go back to where a was. a is equal to minus 1.39. Again, the three significant figures. So that answers uh, that question. A very tricky one, a very good one. I love that question. Short if you know how to do it. If you don't know how to do it, oh, you'd be quite lost. So if you have any questions about anything I did there, if you did get lost in any of that, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer.